What's up everybody? So, a couple months ago, I told you that I was finishing my basement and I wanted to give an update as to where things are with that. And more importantly, where we are with the studio, the, the, the recording room, the, the office, whatever you wanna call it, the room where all the YouTube magic is going to happen. So, uh, that's the primary reason I'm making this video today. The second reason is uh, I'm testing out uh, this cool little selfie tripod type thing. It's called a switch pod. I actually got it at Vid Summit, uh, I think a month ago or whenever that was in Los Angeles. So I'm testing that out because I'm actually gonna be doing a review on it and comparing it to another tripod that I got that's great for like vlogging type stuff like this. Man, it's heavy because my arm is already getting tired. Uh, anyway, so more on that to come, but I first, before we move on to anything, I need to apologize. The audio in this video is going to be absolutely awful because we are in a room that has not been sound treated. Uh, carpet has not been laid in uh, the rooms that need carpet, so it's just, it's not ideal. So bear with me on that. But uh, yeah, let me, let's go ahead and give you a little tour of the basement. If you follow me on Instagram, I've already given somewhat of a, a healthy amount of visuals and, and showing you around. So if you do follow on the Instagram, get the behind the scenes stuff, a lot of this isn't going to be new, but a lot of you don't follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should. It's just uh, Brandon Hassler underscore. I'll go ahead and show you the, you know, just type that into Instagram or I'll link to it below. You can follow me, but uh, yeah, let me show you what's going on with the basement. So this is the basement so far. Not a ton to look at. So we got all the hardwood in, uh, still getting this rail and everything stained. Uh, these will actually be white. And then uh, yeah, kind of a dark wood there. Carpet the stairs, obviously. And I got the TV hung, cause you know me, it's the first thing that you've got to hang is uh, a TV. So this specific model is the uh, 75 inch TCL uh, Roku TV. So it's got Roku OS as its uh, operating system, which I'm already a big fan of Roku. Uh, so naturally this was a great fit and uh, it was an, an insane deal. And I imagine for Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you're gonna get an even better deal. So definitely expect a review on this TV right away. Hopefully when the sound is a little bit better because you can see zero sound treatment. Uh, we're gonna get a rug and obviously more couches and stuff like that. These couches are really cool. So I actually got these in my other house. I got them on Amazon. I asked Instagram if they wanted to see a review on these. These are like uh, powered uh, chairs. They actually got the blue light and everything, which looks cooler when it's actually dark out, but super high quality chairs, but super good price for what you get. Uh, everyone on Instagram wanted to see a review. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a review on those chairs. If, if enough of you say it, then I'll go ahead and review that. But uh, the plan is we'll have these chairs here and then we've got another couch that will go right here. You can kind of see uh, we've taped it out already just kind of getting that stuff. Uh, yeah, just making sure everything fits. So this is kind of the family room area and then over here we've got, I mean you probably won't find this as interesting, but uh, this room is gonna be like a playroom for the kids. So um, yeah, just kind of a big open room. We're gonna throw some carpet in here. And then in here we actually got this like we're gonna turn this into a house So it's kind of like a mini house That the kids can play in so we just cut out a, uh, a Door a window and let me turn on the lights in here. They have their own little light switch And now it's all lit up and Whoa, that was loud. This is the uh, the access door for for me in case my kids are being little punks and won't listen to me I can just get in there easy, but, but yeah, the kids can just kind of go in Let's see if we can squeeze and uh, yeah, it just got a little cool area that they can uh, play in. And of course, you just go out this uh, door right here and wha-bam, that is, this is the play area for the kids. Electrical room in here, not interesting to you. And then over here is a storage room. And we just threw in some shelves uh, so we could fit all of our crap in here, the uh, internet, electrical, all that is here. But the part that you might find interesting is over on this section here, this will be kind of the uh, the entertainment capital of the home. So all the entertainment stuff will actually all be wired in here. So you can see we've got the, it's just the Xbox One in here right now, but eventually we'll have like, we can have like a desktop PC in here for like movies and stuff. Uh, any other devices that we want, like a Chromecast or a Roku, it's all wired in here. and so. 
everything will go to one HDMI cord that actually is currently running up through the ceiling and then down to here. So everything that runs on this is just one HDMI cord that all goes back into this little storage room here and there'll be an HDMI switcher where you can just switch which HDMI input that you wanna use. The advantage of this approach is that way you don't have to have like wires showing anywhere or even have to have like you know your xbox up here and all that stuff everything can just be stored back there it makes for a nice clean area and this is not the world's biggest basement so obviously any way that we can make more space we will find those ways uh, and then over here we've just got the bathroom yours truly right there not much to look at i mean we all know what goes on in the bathroom uh, most of this design was compliments of my wife so i had little to do with this room, but it's turning out real nice. And uh, this lamp right here, again, if you follow on Instagram, you've already heard the story of this lamp, but this is a lamp that will not go here, it'll actually go into the office area. And uh, this was from Ikea, it's uh, the Hectar lighting lamp, and I've got smart lights that are actually coming here anytime now, and uh, those will plug into here, so that way I can have it over here and it, it can cast a bunch of really cool colors. So this is the studio. This is the part that most of you probably care about. And it's the least exciting room right now because it's literally just a room. Uh, there'll be carpet here that'll help with the sound a lot. And then of course, you know, getting the furniture and stuff. So the plan is that, right, let me make sure I'm zoomed out all the way. The plan is that over here will be like the actual camera. Uh, we'll get lighting and stuff uh, installed in this area. But when you walk in and, and what the camera sees is, is we got this nice big wall to play with. And the plan is to have the desk right there. And sorry if the audio is like crazy. I'm like, my mouth's right next to the microphone. So if it goes crazy, I apologize, but yeah, we've got the desk here and then we're gonna have like maybe some lighting there. It'd just be a really cool looking wall. And so this will kind of be like the official shot right here, but obviously it'll look better. And then I'll be sitting, you know, somewhere right here for the videos and have a little blur background type stuff. But I gotta get some window treatments, obviously. I'm just getting a, uh, uh, what do you call them? The shades that don't let light through. So that way if I'm recording in the middle of the afternoon, I have full control over the lighting. If you remember from old videos, it was just like the one little boob light right here. We got rid of that and I installed four canned lights. And uh, I may experiment with putting smart lights in to see if that changes the look and feel of everything by being able to like do different colors on that. And then of course a closet, nothing too exciting, right? And uh, these are all the sound panels that I used on the last videos. And I'll probably, I'll definitely do some sound treatment. Uh, probably put some panels maybe over this door here, uh, maybe on this, oh, the door's not installed yet, but probably on this side of the door, have some sound treatment. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the joint. Oh, one more thing that I forgot to show you, and this is one of my favorite things. So the TV, you can see, is not in the ideal place. And that's just the nature of the way that this house was designed before we moved in. Uh, there wasn't many options uh, here. So the TV is off-centered, for sure, because of the stupid window there. I wish that window wasn't there because it serves almost zero purpose. But we had to make do with what we had. So, so the people, you know, if you're sitting here, you're gonna get a, a, a perfectly good view. Man, isn't that picture good? The picture on this is amazing. And this is kind of considered the like budget 4K TVs. Uh, it's an incredible picture, more on that to come. But when you're sitting here in this seat, let's go ahead and sit down. This is your view. It's not a terrible view. Like it's a big TV, it actually looks better than it does on camera. But you know, the people that are sitting on this side over here, they're getting a much better view than you. And that sucks. And I wanna make sure that every view in the Hassler house is a great view. So check this out. You just come on over here and I've got a mount that allows you just to pull this baby out. Uh-oh. Then just turn this TV. Well, bam. You've got a fantastic view right there. And even if you're sitting over on this side, you're still getting a good view. So everybody wins with this setup. So this mount was a must have for this house. Uh, I got it for like 99 bucks on Amazon. I'll talk more about the mount in this TV video. Maybe it's own separate video, I don't know. But yeah, 
Problem solved. So there you have it. Uh, this is the update to the basement progress. This is uh, probably the last time I'll show the basement. I'm definitely doing a video where I'll be setting up the entire studio, recording that because you know, everyone loves like the PC setup, stuff like that. So that video is for sure going to happen. If you want, I can do a like full basement tour when the place is actually fully done. Um, only if you want. I'm not planning on it, but if you comment below and like let me know if I see enough people want it, I'll go ahead and make it, but otherwise, I ain't planning on it. But yeah, I just wanted to make this just so you guys know that progress is definitely happening and I've got a ton of videos lined up and it's just hard to record in the current situation, harder than I thought it was. Uh, this is the area that I am currently working in and it's just not great to record because my kids play like three feet from there and then during at nighttime I can't record there because it's too loud for them. And then you've seen uh, the main room, uh, like the family room upstairs, the living room, whatever you want to call it, that room looks great, but uh, the audio is just awful in there and I just hate recording in there. So yeah, so it'll be really nice having this, uh, this room down here or everything down here done, but especially this room because I can record at any time of day, sound won't be a problem, all that stuff. So yeah, so expect a video on Saturday or Sunday. The carpet should be here tomorrow and that room should be set up this weekend and I'll record the whole thing. And then, uh, man, lots of videos coming out, hopefully starting next week. Got a whole list of stuff that I can start cranking through now. So I've waited a long time to build this room. Uh, I feel like it's just been holding back. Obviously there's other stuff and certainly there's just like bad excuses by me. But uh, yeah, this should be a big thing for the channel. Uh, we can start seeing way more consistency and way more quality videos. So thank you for all the support from everyone who have stuck with the channel. You're awesome. If you're watching this for the first time or you're watching just my channel for the first time, you actually made it this far in the video. That is impressive. Uh, you should go ahead and like and even subscribe if you want to see more stuff. But until this weekend, I'm Brandon Hassler. Thanks for, thanks for coming along. <laughs>